question number 49. Use integration by parts twice to find the integral from e to the x sine x dx. So the first thing we need to do is determine what our u and v prime are going to be. So in this question, if we let e to the x be u, u prime will also be e to the x. And if we let sine of x be v prime, v is going to be negative cosine of x. And then we integrate by parts. So this is equal to u times v, or negative e to the x cosine x, minus the integral of u prime v, or e to the x times negative cosine of x. We can actually bring that negative out to here and rewrite this as e negative e to the x cosine x plus the integral of e to the x cosine x. So now we'll just do that again and come up with some new u and v prime variables. Uh, u will again be e to the x, making u prime e to the x. v prime will be cosine x, making just v sine x. And then we'll integrate by parts once again. Negative e to the x, cosine x, plus u times v, e to the x, sine x, minus the integral of u prime v, or e to the x sine of x. Now we have to remember what we're looking for. We're looking for the integral of e to the x sine x. And that's right here. So if we rewrite the full equation, the integral of e to the x sine x dx is equal to negative e to the x cosine of x plus e to the x sine of x minus the integral of e to the x sine of x. So what we can actually do is take this part and bring it over to this side of the equation, making that 2 times the integral of e to the x sine x dx minus or equals to negative e to the x cosine x plus e to the x sine of x. Divide by 2, and we're left with the integral of e to the x sine x dx which what we're looking for is equal to one half times, and we can actually factor out this e to the x, e to the x negative cosine x plus sine x, um, and then plus our constant. 